Fine Crafting, Vicky here with you and this is my second try. I already did a big chunk of the video and uh, it, the, my SD card went wrong on me. So I'm starting again. Okay, so my um, I'm, I'm almost out of uh, paper envelopes for uh, my crafty friends, um, the altered envelopes that I make using these uh, recycled envelopes from work. So I thought I was going to make a few more and um, I also did this weekend, I purchased a bunch of file folders like this to you when I was uh, with Erin because I didn't have a lot of supplies with me and I thought they would be great um, to wipe off the excess paint and, uh, and then I could make tags out of it, it would make awesome backgrounds. So I'm going to try that and uh, I want to make it like kind of fall colors so I got those paints out and those are going to be what I'm going to be using. I found today when I went to our Whitner's, which is the equivalent of TJ Maxx, those yummy paints. They are metallic and I just thought they would be great fun to use on this. I yeah, So they're open. Um, so I want to try them out. I've pulled out some gessoed cards, some index cards, so I'll be uh, doing that. And uh, I'm going to try to talk my way through this video because I had somebody comment that um, they would like to see me do live streaming so they could see the process and, and I guess ask questions while I'm doing it. Um, this was the first time that it was ever brought that uh, somebody wanted me to do that. I looked into it a bit. It seems a bit complicated um, and I'm not sure if you guys would really be interested in watching that. So I would love to hear your thoughts and um, and if any one of you guys know more about um, streaming, well, please let me know because, um, like I said, it's it's a bit seems a bit complicated. Um, I have a different like I have a camera that's set up, and that's how my um, oh this is how I uh, I do the my videos, and it's not with. Um, it's not with my laptop so from what I read I need to hook uh, my camera to my laptop I'm just not sure how easy that's going to be uh, with the limited space I've got so I'm a bit hesitant as to what I'm going to do about this and like I said if there's really no interest in it well I'm not going to spend time researching it out even more but if it would interest you guys well I would do more research okay so let's get going with this and the first print is usually not the best but sometimes you get surprises and uh, and I like my back and my front of envelopes to kind of go together so, and I'm hanging them on my support, the the one that you saw me uh, show last last video I did. Um, and I love 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 that thing. It's just uh, it's wonderful because it doesn't take any any room, right? So I don't have uh, I don't need any square footage because my my floor square footage. It's really in demand. It's, uh, oh, look, isn't that fun? I really love when uh, I can use the, the back like, like that and kind of make it fun. Okay, so I should get going with this one. And I don't really care that it's torn because anyway, I'm gonna sew it all together just because I wanna make sure that when it's sent out in the mail, it's not gonna come an issue. And I had some comments um, that maybe my envelopes, because they're chunky, might not be accepted. And they are. It uh, look, love it. Uh, they are accepted, but because I put more stuff in them, um, they're usually not not. Uh, they, they usually have lots of items in them, and because of that, it usually costs me a lot. But I sent out one in Canada and it only cost me two and a half, two dollars and a half, which wasn't that bad. And um, and to send to Europe, 
Um, it was about ten bucks, but it was like really filled. Uh, ten bucks in them. Um, the same thing with um, Australia. But like I said, it was really, really filled up to the brim. So it's kind of to be expected that it's going to be more expensive because uh, it had to be sent as a small package. And actually, to Australia, it could have gone as a um, no, not Australia, Dubai. Dubai. It could have gone as um, as an envelope because it was. I had kept that one fairly thin um, since I knew it might be really expensive, and um, the problem was that it was actually cheaper to uh, send it out as a small package than sending it out as a letter. The bad thing, I guess, out of that is probably because it's probably going to take a bit longer. Um, as a package versus a letter not quite sure I will see I guess when my swap partner gets it just hope she likes it that's always that's always what I'm scared of that people are not gonna appreciate what I do or they won't like it or they'll think it's rubbish I would love to hear your thoughts about that because uh, I'm sure I'm not the only crafter that thinks this way. I often think that what I'm making is not that great and uh, obviously other people can do it better and who would want whatever I'm making as a gift, right? So that is one of the issues that I have and makes it difficult for me to make and make gifts because then I end up buying all kinds of other gifts because I'm thinking that what I made is not is not good enough. But as you know, if you're crafters, uh, supplies don't come cheap. And plus, of course, there's the time. But I'm not even thinking of the time. And most people don't think about it either. I do sell some cards and uh, often like people think uh, that they're giving a lot of money when actually I'm selling them only for five bucks. Um, the only reason I am selling them at all is because I need to, uh, I don't want to just accumulate them. Plus I have fun making cards sometimes. So, but uh, that only pays like the supplies. That doesn't really pay my, that doesn't pay my time. But they don't get that. I guess that's life. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that this uh, happens to. Okay, those are... Kind of something on them already, but... Okay, so what do I put on top of brown? I guess I could put a bit of yellow. And maybe a bit of orange. And let's say a bit of gold. No, that's yummy. For my last two envelopes. It's going faster now doing the jelly printing. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm also not trying to do as many with um, really small stencils. Uh, I'm thinking that if I want to use my st smaller stencils, I should be using my smaller jelly print plate. Because of course you guys have only seen me doing it with this jelly print plate but I do have smaller ones uh, and uh, I just haven't filmed using them and I'm not sure they've seen a lot of light of day either it's bad because you I have a lot of supplies and then I don't necessarily use it the way I should 
or as often as I should, I should say. It's hard using your stuff. Because there's always new stuff that comes out. And the new stuff seems very interesting. Or new techniques. I love learning new things. So so I tend to... Oh, I'm loving this one. So, yes, I, I try to... I end up... Uh, trying a bunch of different things. And, well, of course, when I'm doing a bunch of different things, I might as well do a few cards, right? Since I've got them out. And then I could use my smaller stencils. And... Uh, just because I can and it's out and I want my stuff to dry a bit I'll be uh, closing the, down the, the video when uh, I'm actually like I'll let them dry a bit and then I will sew around them uh, 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 uh. what do I do what do I do Didn't put any in the first layer. I never mix. I didn't mix them. But let's try that. Okay, and uh, let's uh, try. What do I try? What would be fun? Maybe this one. I haven't used it a lot. And uh, let's do a bit of red. I'm not sure how this will turn out. Who cares, right? It's only paint, it's only paper. There's a lot of people that say that, and I'm so traumatized about using it the wrong way, or making a mess, and hating what I make, and, I don't really like doing those for the first run because just because it's not as uh, not as defined, right? So let's choose this instead. more. This one's okay. And this one needs more. This one needs more too. Uh, not liking these as much. Probably because the stencil didn't do the full page. So now I've got 
thing is, it's still gonna make a cute background of something. And I buy these tins. I think I've shown them to you before. And I put my stuff to dry on them. Up and above my fridge. That's in the back of me. That's where I store the stuff while it's drying. All the small pieces anyway. And I couldn't do that for the big pieces because they would take the full room of, um, of the pan, right? So that's how I came up with the... Uh, solution of my uh, the rack that's hanging I'm gonna have to make two videos out of this since I'm talking the whole way. Might have to. Doesn't seem to be picking up anything anymore. Guess that's pretty much it. Okay, so I will leave these to dry and I will go and clean out my jelly plate and then I'll be back to finish the edge uh, with you guys of the envelopes and then I'm going to be able to uh, stitch them and uh, show them to you guys. Okay, so see you soon